Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, Park Enjoyer? All right, I, big fan, big fan. All right, I really like this early oak. This, this is where you can see the strength of like Wagner in this version of the game, uh, especially for how Redblade likes to play it. Just this overwhelming aggression and it forces Silent to commit to big options. And right now you're just seeing them play very patiently, trying to find that gap, trying to find an opportunity for Redblade to make a mistake. Oi. Well, it's a small mistake, all things considered, but really kind of looking for that, yeah, moment. It could happen once we have CS, but not if we lose it immediately with the grid break and we're doing our best grappler impression. Just gonna combo off of this one. Oh, just needs a little bit more. Oh, this whole JA not gonna be able to close it up just yet. So this is where, you know, Silent can make a big uh, comeback potentially right now. She just has to get through the mid dispenser. Oh, good blocks in the overhead. Oh, I was gonna say, there might be an opportunity if Cycle turns around again, but that grid break really kind of sealed the deal. Made it very difficult in that first round here. Yeah, and I like this. Just immediately try to back off and get that shield buff when you have that opportunity. It's going to make your uh, run-up potential better, and I love that throw right there. At least just getting rid of the shield buff. Oh, good confirm. Yeah, going to win cycle as well. Going to carry it to the corner. Oh, no, going for buff here. Nice. Yeah, I think having having buff is a little bit more important to just, like, make your pressure even more dominant, especially with someone who has this good of defense. That's why you're seeing things like this early great CS. Yeah, wonderful CS, great reaction to the situation. Does have another CS though, and 200 meter. We haven't seen Redblade really force their way in with the meter just yet, really focusing on using the uh, the CS first and foremost, but give up Celestial after getting the hit on Silent. Let's see what the situation happens afterwards. A lot of meter on the board for the both of them. Yeah, and this is actually potentially huge because, you know, Silent can be able to control the grid cycle again, regaining that Celestial after the cycle, but it will just choose to cash it out to try to take their turn back with Red Blade, keeping it solid, good press with a low whip right there. Yeah, and finally a hit. The, fir the first sort of confirm, the first combo we can get started. So hopefully some momentum starting for Silent and gets the open up after the little bit of the wait, the 2A working out. Yeah, this is where you see, oh yeah, just burn the CS, try to cash out for the guaranteed kill right here with the IW. Use the 5 AD to reset scaling. And Silent wanting to tie it up quickly, giving us the long games, the long sets, the undernight that we need. And now playing a little bit more patiently, trying to allow Red Blade to, uh, you know, dig their own grave a little bit. Yeah, well, you really, uh, you can really appreciate the patience from Silent there. Like, pretty much up until that combo was getting kind of really beat down by Red Blade, but just waited for their moment. And that's something that you're really going to need in this matchup as they do find another hit. Yeah, just keeping the momentum in uh, in your favor is so, so important, especially like not only versus Red Blade, but versus Wagon. Really good Abari buttons to get out of the situation, but doing things like that with the TK Fireball CS confirmed to end that one with a perfect. Comparing to the first round, like that's yeah. night and day different. There's something I think you can say where if you understand how the matchup goes, where it's like, yeah, Wagner really pressures me, pressures me. Losing that first round like that can seem par for the course, and it can give you a lot of like mental uh, confidence to be like, eh, it happens, and then you move on. Yeah, but that's the kind of competitor that, that Silent is, is able to just like take that mindset and immediately still got more games to go. Still have scrambles to try to win, unfortunately, resetting the neutral, and that's going to give Red Blade the big chance to keep this core. Oh, actually using roll over there over CS just lets it expire, but gets the hit. Jumping back, trying to keep them into the corner, but gets opened up high. Side switch combo, taking them towards the corner themselves. Yeah, and I love those FF no cancels right there while you don't have to worry about them uh, gaining additional grid to keep yourself safe. Very, very good pressure sequences right there. Oh, good shield able to take your turn back. Ball confirmed. Very, very nice. And also getting Cycle as well. So a big win here for Silent. And going for the side switch after the Steer Ender. Yeah, just wants to VO. Uh, and, you know, because past that Steer Ender, them losing a little bit of grid. So be able to just completely remove them from gaining the Cycle, getting any kind of use out of it, and getting good reward out of it, landing that first round. But Silent taking that first hit. Yeah, round start force function. Use it when it doesn't cost you anything. Not a bad idea. Oh, gets open up low. Wasn't able to get the combo, but the break gonna guarantee the cycle for Silent. Yeah, and keeping up the pressure. And like, I like that use of stand shield because you've been seeing a lot of those like air fireballs come out, and Phonons love to try to get those big jump ins to make it work. It's not gonna work out just yet. Good throw tech out of there. 
Ooh, finds a little bit of concentration just to win the cycle again. Great presence of mind. Gets opened up, but does have the 200 meter, does have cycle We're in a really good position here. Yeah, will lose it, so they have to spend it quickly. And as I think they tried to spend it, and they've actually gotten a concentration, giving that grid break, giving Celestial over to the Wagner player. This is a very, very dangerous situation. Oh, this is like a 350 meter situation or something like that. Like, you can eat plus frames on plus frames, but not if you don't find the moment to super cancel in 200. Yeah, I gotta go Steer Ender, IW, the easiest way to clean up your combo. It ties up the round count. Yeah, but very good defense right there. Like, not letting that, like, oh, I'm going to die off of any hit kind of situation even allow that to get them. Ooh, good pick up. Ooh. Yeah, what a confirm that was. It's going to take all the way to the corner. Just single buff there. Really interesting to see how Redblade is considering using their meter. Has been on 200 more often than not, actually. Yeah, I, I, something I think he's really been prioritizing is those big combo throw situations, as well as like the big confirms, like, you know, potentially off of these next hits, where you can just cash out that IW to close out the round. Yeah, and we're going to do it with the classic, the JACS into IW. Gonna clean up with a perfect and tying up the games one to one. Yeah, interesting to see because one of the things at least I'm studying as a player uh, is really how everybody's using the new influx of meter that everybody has. Mm -hmm. And it seems like everybody has a different idea. Yeah, I, you know, I think there was a lot of early talk of like, just spend your meter as you get it because you're going to gain it back so, so frequently. But now you're seeing, you know, the people like Redway being like, well, if I'm going to gain it quickly, I'm just going to hold on to it and then cash out with these big, big rewards. Yeah, and there it panned out pretty well. Had a game plan to how to clean it up. Big grid break there, gonna guarantee the cycle for Silent, and it's gonna be really tough to get out of here without making some sort of commitment on the side of Red Blood. Yeah, right now you're just seeing these dash walk attempts trying to slowly get out of the corner where they can, shielding these fireballs in a great jump in with that charge C. So gonna be able to take them coast to coast almost. Oh no, burn routes. Okay, yeah, 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 I like this. So the burn route now being super efficient, being able to guarantee an extra thousand damage on these block strings alone, but this grid break with the full overhead on the force function. Yeah. Oh, good to go. So Veil off, not only stripping, but also giving you the ability to play cycle. So great double use for Veil off. And then gets the IW, not quite gonna kill, but put him in a really good position. Great block. Still corralled in the corner. Have to worry about the CS, but gets thrown right before it. Yeah, I got TRM'd right at the very end right there. Good on Silent to just delay that throw so slightly. Oh, great hit right there. And this is what I love. Silent is like super comfortable in this close range situation, but I think you see a lot of phone on players being you know, a little scared of their buttons for situ situations just like this. So yeah, in a really good position. All of the resources that you can ask for and see how Silent plays this one. Is it really just about waiting out this cycle, getting a hundred meter? Ooh, actually rolled out. Oh, gave up cycle as well. Yeah, that uh, roll not connecting, so you weren't able to gain uh, any additional grid off it. Now this is where Redblade was looking for them to get grid broken because they were about to enter Celestial, and that would have been a very bad situation. But this counter hit two B is going to turn it into their favor as well. Should be able to close it out right here with the IW. Yeah, I'm gonna CS right before it just to get a little bit of meter, a little bit of a uh, extra for Red Blade there going into this last round. Again. Good shielding oh, there, but gets opened up afterwards. So gonna get the cycle, but has to take attacks for it. Yeah, and didn't finish the, the routing right there. Just got a little bit of a drop, but nice up back drill right there. It's gonna be a big, big starter. To be able to cash out to uh, Jungle Buff. Yeah, just gets the opportunity to play Cycle the very last second. The jumping forward winning Cycle for Silent and gets a hit afterwards. Both players really jockeying for this corner. Yeah, I mean, it's super important for both of them, right? Like, the phone on pressure in the corner is, is where it's hard for, like, a Wagner. Same thing on the opposite. Once a Wagner has you so dangerous, and taking those risks like that jump right there are the things you need to do to try to capitalize on it. But Silent. Gonna find the hit, find the confirm, find the IW, and go up 2 1. Yeah, just going back into it. We had a couple of pauses after these first sets of games. Maybe people sort of like settling their game plan, settling their thoughts versus the opponent. But, ooh, nice trade pickup. 
and that's I think you're going to be seeing a, a potentially from Silent more like those trades can tend to go into Phonon's favor due to the range and just like weird like hit stun conversions that can happen. So you might see more of those situations try to like come into fruition and fully capitalize on that. But right now, you're just seeing the dominance come through on that Phonon aggression. Oh, going into install. I'm gonna give up cycle here, but still a lot of pressure being dealt. Oh, nice jump out of the 6FF right there. Not going to be able to held down by the whip. Oh, was trying to get away. <laughs> Actually got chased down by Redblade. Has Cycle, has almost 200. Just looking for that opening. Silence defense has been really good in these pressure situations, though. Oh, but these up back drills have been even better than any pressure that Silent can have. Redblade has been doing them so consistently and finding great reward out of them. I wonder how Silent's gonna like, you know, switch up their game plan to try to avoid those situations from coming through. Didn't spend that 100 meter quick enough to get some of it on the return for CS. Red Mist to death, gonna DP through that. Crosses under to take positioning. Looking for that opening again. Does have the meter to clean it off of anything. Just needs to find that last hit. Yeah, and you have to be very careful with trying to shield as you know Red Blade's looking for that throw. Oh, oh it's always when you least expect it, I swear. It's like the the good Wagner players just have this instinct for 2 AD just always working out. Yep, yep. And that's you know, but it's it's we all, that's the second time we've seen it in all of these games so far, which have been going, you know, the full distance every single time. So it's really good on Red Blade for like very hiding their options and trying to keep it, you know, you know, always have them guessing. Right now, Silent's going to keep them guessing with which side they want to end up stealing the corner right here. I love, love the combo selection from Silent. It, you can see both players actually just have the combos on point, jockeying for this position in the corner. Cycle being a big deal here gets opened up once again. 200 and Cycle going to tie it up, going to be able to save that meter going into this third round. Yeah, and you're going to see immediately pop with the geyser into install. I think Silent has been a big fan of the install, really trying to make it work and like get a lot of reward out of it for things like that. Finding that big fireball hit, going to get the new routing to keep them all the way down. Oh, first DP on wake up from Wagner. Just caught cycle though, got 200, kind of a scary situation, especially if you get that great confirm from the air. Yeah, not going to be able to, you know, kill just yet. So we'll need to try to find one more opportunity. And now that VO is actually going to be very advantageous unless you Ooh. die to the Oh, man, don't you hate losing from full screen? No, I said too much. I said too much. Uh, just reached a little bit, uh, not reaching a little bit far. One of the farther reaching IWs in terms of like vert horizontally, like it, it kind of yeah. reached, it, it, it like hits more things than you'd like. But uh, that time, unfortunately, not reaching far enough. Three to one to silence, getting the the first meaningful lead here in this first to ten. So, man, Red Blade's JCs have been just super on point. You didn't see a full conversion on this one, but I feel like every time it's come out, it's completely clipped silence pressure. I like that use of charge shield buff just to get in there. Finally, blocking that JC and shielding it out, so now you're able to fully punish them for that. Ooh, just waiting there. A lot of green shells went awry, awry there. Silent winning cycle for it. I guess the install confirm as well. Should have CS. Oh no! You gotta get out of the scramble. Uh, uh, has gave up cycle on the throw. Oh, best grappler in the game. Third time. Oh, and Silent just. <gasps> oh, that was so sick! <laughs> trying to turn the air block into pressure of their own. Uh, got opened up afterwards, though. Yeah, got clipped by a two, uh, the 2A into the grid break situation, and now has had the burn, had to get double buffs, and found the 6B right there. I saw Red Blade grinding these 6B combos on Twitter. He's been trying to find those max damage corner situations off of that. He really wants to be utilizing that tool, I think, especially in this matchup, where Phonon doesn't have the ability to, like, fully, like, do anything about it once the 6B's out. Understandable, honestly. 6B, so, so strong. Not only do you want to throw it for stuff like chip and just constant pressure, but also just a really good starter for your combos. And this is going to be, yeah, CVO. He's Playing going for the heart. <laughs> yeah, showing off the combo. <laughs> I think IW would have killed like eight hits ago. <laughs> <laughs> so look, sometimes you, know, sometimes you got to stunt or die, you know?
True. And also, by the way, I feel like CVO doesn't kill, like, all the time, while, like, CVO IW, like, never kills anymore, and, like, regular Raw IW always kills for some reason. Like, yeah, I'm still not used to it. Well, and I, I'm still not used to stuff like IWEX, like, killing from just out of the blue now, because it used to deal, like, no damage. Yeah. Early oh, start here you. from Wagner. Uh, Redblade just running away with it. Oh! Oh my god, I don't know if I've seen people pause in the air like that. <laughs> uh, I, I love that uh, use of just switching over to the charge force function and that situation, because you've been seeing Silent go for that up back again and again and again. So just guaranteeing the air unblockable with the, you know, the 90 frames of hit stun, go make a sandwich and then combo them. Just great, great oh. use right there. Nice use of 6FF. God, it, it is. It is so good. I'd be madder if it wasn't such a cool looking move. <laughs> Trying to snipe from downtown, but not the right angle to get to Silent. He's gonna punish accordingly, giving up Cycle. Tried to get it there with the run forward, but still gets the hit afterwards. Should be able to clean it up. No, oh, no I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> You shouldn't have, because now that drill's connecting right there. Not able to get the big damage, but Silent is more than comfortable. Just hold down back, but is wanting to be aggressive. Being like, hey, I just need one more touch on you to guarantee this win. Oh. Gonna need one more. Cycle goes in the favor of Red Blade once again. Bro, gonna connect. Yeah, and just a CVO to make sure, sure. Game's tied up, three to three. Yeah, that's yeah, it's uh, I yeah, it's so unfortunate for for Saturday. They're like having that round, having it, and then just getting the slight drop at the very end, and uh, you know losing losing a round, losing a whole game out of it. That's going to give Red Blade a lot of big momentum, just like that, capitalizing up the six FF, going to be bringing them all the way to the other coast. Oh, <laughs> man, don't you hate it when the game pauses for a second through Wagner Armory, and you're like, man, I screwed up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, game yeah. letting you know what's up. As the Wagner player, it's the best feeling on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're like, in 30 frames to now, you're dead. <laughs> well, just like I think Silent's gonna be dead off this confirm finding the, the uh, grid break 2A right there. We'll have to spend that meter, but still has 100 in the pocket to take for the next round. Red Blade looking, I feel like after that last round, getting that, that comeback is looking even more confident. Yeah, I mean, two straight and has a lot of momentum in this seventh game here. So it's definitely up to Silent to stop some of the momentum. Really important in these first attends if you're considering it that way, that you, you don't let people run away with multiple games like this. But take some pressure in the corner. If anything, no. using that super to get out of the corner and then right back in you go with the Mac truck. Yeah, Red Blade just was like super on point with really like, okay, you're gonna you're gonna press at this exact situation. I'm still spaced out of it, and all I have to do is one more throw after this hit to take now three in a row. And rematching immediately. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just wanting to play patient right now, the scene like, okay, Sans so gonna probably try to you know find these opportunities like this to open me up, I'm getting a nice quick little whiff punish on a, I think it was a five A. Like try to bait something out. Good sequence here to start. So hopefully a great sequence here after the whiff DP. Just actually just let him, you know, throw it off to the side there. But hopefully gaining or regaining some of that momentum. But what a 2A mash in the pressure. Yeah, I think that's a that's a very like important part of Wagner. Like once the phone on is pressuring you, having that sort of active defense to find those opportunities to five A to steal your turn back can be very very beneficial. Oh, big counter hit right here. Yeah, has cycle. Oh, has celestial even. You can just go ham. Basically, almost like four hundred meter right now. Not even gonna need a single bit of it because you're just gonna CS and take this round here. Good momentum yeah, stop from Red Blade. I like that, that idea just to cash out on the CS at the very end, just to guarantee that that kills. You don't have to do anything else because you're getting the, the bonus slash shield damage. And nice pickup right here. What a good confirm. Oh, a great confirm also using the 6B, reaching just far enough to get the combo. Are we ending this? Ending it with Pillar. Oh my god. 
and had the CVO even if that didn't kill it to guarantee as well. Silent, or sorry, not Silent. Red Blade now halfway through those wins. And like, I, I, I need to see what Silent's gonna do, right? I need to see how they're gonna adapt their game plan because right now, a f like a four game win streak is like that that's unbearable to deal with sometimes. And this is a good start. Finding these opportunities to actually open them up, keep your pressure solid afterwards, and just getting these knockdowns wherever you can. Good use of the six. Oh. Yeah, as I mean, full on combos are pretty hard, don't get me wrong, but definitely these drops are, are really hurting Silent. It, it's making it very difficult to, to keep a character that really wants to press forward and find and, and take all the momentum in one turn. Giving them an extra opportunity is is maybe too much more than you can ask for, especially versus the caliber of Red Blade. Taking it into the corner now after the side switch situation. And you can see Red Blade is just playing super patiently. Like, I know you want to do something. I know you want to get out. I'm just going to stand over here and attempt to react to whatever you have come through. And Silent is trying to find opportunities. And as soon as they press, Red Blade is ready to shield card their way through. Get another hit. Can't punish the roll with the 2A, though. It's slightly out of the range. Yeah, and gave up Cycle for it, too, unfortunately. So pressure really difficult to deal with. Finds a moment to jump back. And there it is, our favorite Max Shrek again blowing through whatever you want it to do and takes the rounds mm. we're gonna see yeah early just geyser into uh into call yet again which i think has been like every time that silence been able to make that happen has been a very good starter for them unfortunately not getting that hard knockdown at the very end so red blade oh, gonna get a oh, max what? <laughs> what a sick confirm with dash c hitting with a uh, force function out of the air Oh, and shielding the jump in, so finds the 2A punish. Oh, well, this is oh so scary. Oh, actually concentrating. Usually you see the Wagger players jump back to keep corner, but uh, not going to matter. Still going to find the hit. CVOIW to make it the easiest combo in the world. And we are up five straight, three to six. Yeah. I think for Red Blade, it's actually, it was, I like the idea of the concentrator because you've seen how comfortable they are like just controlling the mid screen in general and being able to deal with almost anything that silent is bringing to the table. So often for that concentrate, instead of keeping the corner being like, yeah, even if you get out, I'm still going to be able to get back in there. I'm still find my opportunity to win. Another strong round start here from silent. It, it has been good in those sort of round start game start situations. It really just about keeping the momentum or at least not finding those moments where red blade's been able to poke back and take a full combo from it. Oh, and that geyser was like exactly what you were looking for. Unfortunately, not able to find the full follow up, but Red Blade can't find that counter hit 2A follow up. So you're actually a lot safer than what you should be right now. And that's huge, right? Oh, whiff punish, dash force function. Just perfect spacing necessary for that to happen. Good shield, just playing patient right now, trying to find these opportunities to get out. Gets a good assault in there. Oh, no. okay, off the 2A, but uses that momentum or that uh, those plus frames to get a different mix up there. All right, yeah. See Rekka's finishing it off. Uh, stemming or stopping the bleeding quite a bit here. I think this is the first round in quite a while for, for Silent. Hopefully some momentum on their side. Yeah, I think at least in the past three games, it's gone to Red Blade 2-0. So being able to just reset that out a little bit is going to be a lot more beneficial to their game plan. And I like that, you know, attempt. I think they're going to throw us going for oh. a lot like that. Finding the river. Yeah, you can expect the Wagner player to throw quite a bit. So, I mean, getting opened up by a Sol C is, is not a crazy thing there. But what's not crazy is the damage. <laughs> this is easy. No supers needed. Just kind of tack so, on 4.3. No big deal. So if that went on longer, that route deals like 6.8k now. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you need that, if somehow you started the combo uh, or started the health bar with that, but you know, if not, you know, just in case. Throw. Oh, you know, was able to punish, like, find the opportunity to get the full punish on the roll, but didn't get the 6B out in time to fully capitalize on it. So now, silence defense looking great, finding the tech and finding the chance to actually punish and take their turn back, but the shield comes through on the overhead attempt. So now, Red Blade didn't get the big punish, but didn't get the corner. <laughs> Yeah, just fishing with those dash force functions. Not working out, but Silent gets a big hit. Does drop it! Unfortunately, uh, letting all of that pressure 
dissipate from the corner and actually just flipping it entirely. Now you're seeing Red want to hold on to that shield bus, trying to find a big confirm, but just shields out of the overheads attempt right there. Gets the punish and gets now the sixth game in a row. Really like, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, it, it doesn't go without... Everybody, everybody's kind of recognized the Death 4 function from Wagner is a very strong tool, but seeing how Red Blade's using it is, is kind of like the the it is really cool to see because I, I think he is really showing off how strong this button can be against characters where they want to play right outside of Wagner's range. Yeah, and like also showing how multiversal it is, right? Like not only just like oh, I'm playing outside on the ground and in the air, like trying to be a little bit more active in their like movement you have a lot of different opportunities to make use out of it just like you have opportunities to find this quick little second hit right here should be able to cash out with the iw recoup almost 50 of it 150 meter iw to take that round yeah a little uh, little optimization there and the easiest thing is i think people are getting really good like this used to be a thing i was afraid of before in previous games where people would do their cs combos and like drop it to try to mm -hmm. maximize the amount of meter they gained back. People are doing like CSIW immediately, like using at the very end of their combo. So that's really nice, is that they're making it as simple as possible for themselves, gaining some of that meter back. Oh, Red Miss of Death? Yeah, just gonna EXCP out of there. Oh, yeah, giving up corner, oh. actually. Yeah, I, I I do like it, you know, try to, you know, confuse them with the tech situation and try to gain an advantage, but Red Blade has just been so on point so far, able to now just keep this corner pressure. But Silent finds an opportunity to tech out of that throw and, and you know, press out of that situation. Gonna be able to take another round right here. Yeah, I think that was a startup of Shield Bash or something like that, because I saw the shield, the shield buff deteriorate or, or disappear. So definitely a great snipe, a great read from Silence. Oh, one more time. Doesn't get the confirm off of this one, but gonna get the hit after that situation. Steer Ender, make it nice and simple. Veil off. Oh, yep. what a, oh, the movement, the forward movement actually winning cycle for them, but gets hit afterwards, so not gonna be able to spend this Veil off on anything. I did really like that Veil off attempt right there. Like, I think it had, a, it, was, it was the exact thing you needed to do to sort of regain control of that, but just an unfortunate scramble leading into Red Blade's favor, allowing for this last hit right here to give them the seventh game, so that's now eight. Yes, yep. eight, three, three eights, seven in a row. It's really difficult. It, I mean, what's I think the difference is that just on defense, it feels like Red Blade is so difficult to, to get like consistent opening hits without feeling like you might just lose entirely by him pressing 2A on your pressure. Yeah, and like, just, uh, all this pressure has just been completely unstoppable from him this entire time. Good set up the throw. But Silence defense has been great. Like uh, the opportunity you're seeing is just these like uh these like Abare attempts right there. I thought they were gonna recognize that wooden kill right there. I thought I thought they were gonna be at that pixel and Red Blade would have to try to scramble, but still was able to find that confirm. Nice star attack, a little bit too far, but with throw plus two. Stay safe. Oh, oh, what a confirm off the 2C. Oh, man, stagger windows are so wonderful. They're a great thing. Oh, Red Mist of Death? Yeah, just going to DP through that. Takes us to the cross under two for positioning. Wasn't able to confirm. Oh, that's going to hurt quite a bit. And Red Blitz says, thank you for the corner. Yeah, finding that 2A match, but not being able to get anything off of it. It's just oh so rough. And now Red Blade just going for the classic. I'm just gonna 5C, I'm gonna I'm gonna 2C, I'm gonna 6B, I'm gonna play at this range, I'm gonna force you to do something and try to capitalize on it. But Silence said, nah, I'd win. Finds the opportunity to get the run under and find the big hit confirmed. Yeah, hot cycle as well, so I'm gonna be able to make it real scary. Just yo, know, empty jump 2B. <laughs> Why, it's been, Why not? <laughs> it's been something we've been seeing more. Like we saw Red Blade earlier go for like an empty jump throw. Oh, oh, I like that. Red tried to go for an early force function, thinking that they were just gonna go for up back fireball to so just hit them and then be drill out. But did they lose? I, they lose meter for that? Yeah, they did lose meter for yeah, that. So yeah. they traded before that. They she still got install. Yeah, she didn't go. Into, she didn't go into super flash. Huh. But she, she didn't go into Super Flash, she still got install. <laughs> Alright, I'm I, cool. Hey, oh, Veil off. My time to shine. Oi. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, saw the green shield flash right there and got the punish off of it. BDP gonna give them the hit out. Oh, no, no, grid break! Oh. I was gonna say that has this grid advantage over their opponent, but gave it up at the very end there. Yeah, trying to see us most more likely than not. Happens to the best of us, but especially hurts, especially when you're putting yourself on, on first to 10 set. Last game for Red Blade needed. Yeah, you know, we'll have to see if, if Silent can make this big comeback right now, or if Red's just gonna be able to have full domination, full control right here. Nice delays, trying to get him to bait out that throw attempt right there. Oh! You're oh dead? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, we, we've seen this before, but now it has to actually go for the stylish route, unlike the last time we saw that situation <laughs> come up to guarantee the kill there. This is now Red Blade sitting at match <sighs> point. Might be the best grappler in the game. Hey, Walt Steam's right there. It might be the best grappler in the game. <laughs> Like oh, tech nice out. Attack. Yeah, but now I like it showing that hey, I'm just gonna DP on you. Like I've, I, I'm just not gonna respect any of your pressure. I'm just gonna try to, you know, mash out of all these situations because I've Red Blade has so many games to, you know, use this download, use this information to try to, you know, take the full win back right here. Oof. Wasn't able to get the confirmed. Nice CS to save, safe, but pressure still continues for Red Blade. Gonna use their own CS right there. Nice jump back away from the throw and gets a hit afterwards. Gonna clean this up, and this is. Silent, staying alive. Yeah, finally making use of that 171 AD right there just to escape out of the situation. Oh, good respect from Silent right there to know that that, that uh, overhead was not coming. But Red Blade still finds this big hit. Now, in that scary, scary situation, Red looking for a reaction right now, trying to do anything to just close this out. But Silent able to steal the corner and seal the hit. This can hurt. This can hurt. Despite being a, a zoner style character, Phonon does do quite a bit of damage. Back dashing away early in the cycle, so not going to be too bad. Just going to let the threat of the CS be something that they can use. And I like that use of force function right there, being able to use the projectile nullification and special cancel to try to close that gap. But Silent was ready for it and able to you know take that next scramble situation into their favor. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, great five A. <laughs> he pressed on it. He pressed on it like a madman. Oh, it's still a chance though. Tech veil off. Yeah, I gotta use some of that meter here. CS. Just gonna get out of the way. Oh, One I think that was time. actually supposed to be a. I think that was supposed to be a DP, and then it got auto corrected over to the shield car. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. CS going for silent. A defensive option necessary to deal with this red blade pressure that's plagued him the entire set and it'll plague him one last final time red blade able to take it over silent in this first to 10 10 to 3. Yeah. like 